Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, May 5th. Today I would like to lead you in a mindfulness activity. I really like this one because it involves eating a snack. You can choose your favorite snack if you'd like. I have one of my favorite snacks here, pistachios. Um, so what you will need for this activity is um, some type of food. It can be very small. It can be as small as just one of these pistachios or you can use a drink. You can even use water for this activity. If you are not hungry or you don't have food or a drink around, you can use um, any object really that you have around because what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on our five senses for this activity. Um, if you have an item that you can't eat or taste, then you can use the other four senses still. So I'm just going to show this to remind everybody, um, or for those of you who are not familiar with it, to, sh to introduce it. The 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 grounding exercise. This is where we find five things that we can see, four things that we can touch, three things that we can hear, two things that we can smell, and one thing we can taste. So we're focusing on taste, but we're going to use all of our senses to explore the food. So what I really like about this activity, and you'll see for yourselves, is that I think it makes tasting and eating whatever um, you are eating, we are eating, taste even better. So that's one of the things that I really like about this. And the other thing that I like about it is that it can really help to focus you in the present. So that's what a mindfulness activity does. It helps us sort of be where our feet are right in the present, not thinking about yesterday, not worrying about tomorrow, but just being right here in the moment. And so therefore it can help us to relax and feel calm. So to start, we're gonna start with taking just two deep belly breaths to help to get us um, calm. So make sure you're in a comfortable position. Remember that you can place your hands on your belly as you're doing this. You can lay down, you can place an object on your belly and watch the object rise as your belly, as you fill up your belly with your breath. So we're just going to take two breaths together. Okay, and we'll get started. So I'm going to use my pistachios. I'm going to walk you through this activity. You can do it with me as long as you've got your whatever item or object you're using. I've got a handful of about four or five pistachios right here. And first, we're going to pick up our food item and hold it in our hand. If you have a drink, you can hold the drink. Uh, I'm going to first, we're going to first use our sight, our um, sense of sight, so our eyes and see what we notice. So I notice that these pistachios have sort of a sandy color to them. Some have some darker spots on them and the, the outside of the pistachio shell kind of reminds me of wood. I noticed that some pistachio shells are closed, are more closed than open. So make sure you're taking a minute to notice with your eyes something, at least one thing, you can notice a few things about your food item. Next, we're going to feel our food item. So I'm going to take my other hand and just kind of feel these pistachios and I notice that they feel they kind of feel like chalk there's when I rub the shell it's there's almost like a little residue on my fingers that feels like chalk and they're smooth they're not um, they're not really bumpy they're pretty smooth although they have a little bit of texture to them so make sure you make some notices with your hands with feeling your food item so next we're going to use our ears and we're going to see what we can hear. This can be a tricky one because if you just have one small food item in your hand, then you might not hear too much. Since I have four or five nuts, I can kind of roll them around and shake them up like this and they do make a noise when they bounce uh, against each other. I can also hear a tapping noise when I take my nail and tap the outer shell since the outer shell is pretty hard. So. Another thing you can do if you're having a hard time hearing your food you, is uh, when you take a bite, you can pay attention to the way that it sounds when you chew the food. The other thing I like to do sometimes is think about where a food came from. 
And in this case, um, these pistachios, well, I bought them at a, at a store. I bought them at Wegmans, but um, I think about where they originally came from and they um, came from a pistachio tree. I've never seen a pistachio tree in real life, but I have in pictures. So I kind of know what they look like. And so I might imagine hearing uh, the wind uh, move through a tree and, and the pistachios on it shaking and sort of rattling against each other. So now I'm going to set these down and we're going to go on to smell. So take your food item and smell it. This pistachio that I'm smelling right now doesn't really smell like a pistachio. Um, it doesn't have a strong smell at all. I really can't smell too much of anything, so I wonder if when I crack open the shell, if I can smell it a little bit more. Yeah, now I can get a very faint smell of pistachio, still not very strong. I'm guessing that when I bite into it, I'm probably going to be able to smell it more. Now I can smell the inside of it. Yep, now I have a stronger smell of pistachio. So you can try that as well. Um, for example, if you had an orange, you might not smell too much from the outside, but once you start to peel the orange, you're gonna get a very fragrant smell. So next, I'd like you to put your food item in your mouth, and if it's big, you can take a bite. If it's small, you can put the whole thing in your mouth. I can put this whole pistachio in my mouth. It's very small. and. Either way, if you take a bite or if you put the whole item in your mouth, just move it around with your tongue, but don't chew it anymore and see what you notice. So I noticed that this pistachio is salty. Once I moved it around in my mouth a little bit, the salt goes away, so I don't really taste salt anymore. And it feels like the pistachio, which was hard at first when I put it into my mouth, is now softening. The outside of it is softening. So once you've made some notices before chewing, now I'd like you to begin chewing and chew as slowly as you can. And while you're chewing, really notice what the food feels like and what the field tastes, food tastes like in your mouth. Once you've finished chewing very slowly and swallowed, just think some more about what you noticed. For me, what I noticed was the changes um, that were happening. First, when I just sort of moved the food around, moved the pistachio around, and then when I bit into it and started chewing, it became so much more flavorful and it was really enjoyable. And I'm hoping that you had that experience too with whatever you were eating. So this is an activity that's really simple. You can do it several times a day if, you, if you'd like. Again, you can use an object that's not food. You would just go through your four of your five senses, not taste, but you can go through the other four to make some notices. And remember that when you're using food for this, what it does first is helps you to enjoy the food even more. If it's just an object, maybe it's your favorite stuffed animal. If you're doing this with your favorite stuffed animal, you might make some new notices that, that uh, allow you to appreciate the stuffed animal even more and like it even more. And then the other thing that this does for us is it helps keep us nice and calm or get us back to being calm or being back into the green zone after we've been experiencing an emotion that isn't very pleasant. And then if you, um, once you're nice and calm and relaxed, if you were having a problem to begin with, it'll allow you to be able to try and problem solve, try and solve your problem when you're much calmer rather than just kind of reacting and doing something that you might later say, eh, maybe I regret that and maybe I should have gotten my body calm, nice and calm first before I moved on. All right, so thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed this activity and I hope you'll try it um, some more. If, um, if I am, for some of you, I'll be coming in to do a live lesson with your classrooms and um, for thirds, third and fourth grades, and this is um, what I plan to do. So hopefully we can all do this together and then you can share some of your notices with me and with your peers and your other teachers. All right, thanks everybody, have a great day, bye-bye.